Okay guys, now we are in our Vienna Hotel. So this one, I think has been the smallest out of all of them so far. But yes, we've got a little seating area. We've got a couple of beds. There's a story about the two beds. Got a little selfie mirror. And then this is the bathroom. Okay, so only has a single sink. I love a double sink, a big shower, and you guys don't need to see the toilet. But regardless, happy we made it here after a four hour train ride, which actually went by pretty quick. What is something a bit simpler? We've got the Beijing duck wraps. Oh, the baby versions. The pork rib noodle soup. And you got the crispy calamari with spicy mayo in a basket. Okay, so after dinner conveniently one of the most prettiest parts was opposite so we're just taking a stroll to aid digestion it is freezing here i'm so surprised how cold it is in summer lucky i've got my dior shawl but yeah it's actually quite busy um but it's raining let me flip the camera around to show you what i'm seeing okay, so there's a little man-made lake in the middle little duckies hello duckies pretty little park I'm more impressed by all the museums surrounding it all these really old buildings which we'll get to okay and then this is what I was talking about Wow look how pretty it is even though it's rainy oh all it's the, the Bitzinger the Bitzinger there's a line so it must be popular obviously they're known not obviously but I think they're known for sausages yeah too full too full too full so this is more the city centre. Wow. It's pretty. Oh, look at the horse. Little fountain here. Oh. So, so far Vienna, some parts of it reminds me of Paris. And look what we found. An Australian pub. <laughs> Let's go try some. Uh, maybe some strudel or sucker port. So we've got the traditional uh, apple strudel yeah. and it's like a torte or something, but it's like chocolate and marmalade. So, have you wanted to try the first bite? Oh, and some sparkling rosé. You always have to have the most traditional, right? Nice, good, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Cheers helps. Cheers to our first day in Vienna. Okay guys, so we had to move rooms, but that's okay. This room is slightly bigger, very similar configuration, but it has a chaise at the end of the two single beds. Well, I would say king singles and an added little desk area there. So we've got two desks now, which I guess works better for both hubby and I to work. Um, it still has, you know, a mirror here, a little fridge, coffee setup, and a closet. But the biggest difference, which I really like, is that the bathroom is bigger. So this one has a bathtub, still a single sink, but that's okay. It's a bigger room. But what happened was that in the other room, there was this leak. We're not sure if it's from, I told you it was raining today, but it's a blessing in disguise. We got a bigger room. So hubby's happy, we're, I'm happy. Sometimes things like this happen and it's unexpected. So we're okay with it. Good morning, my loves from a very wet Vienna. So as today is Sunday, a lot of things are closed. So perfect time to do the Shumbun Castle. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And even though it is wet, it is still so busy. So we are just doing a self-guided tour. You know, uh, you can do tours, guided tours as well, but we like to sort of do our own thing with the headsets and look around. So as you can see behind me, if I lift the umbrella, there it is, very grand. And yeah, let's go.
So here are the beautiful castle gardens. Sorry guys, when we were in there in the apartments, we actually weren't allowed to take pictures or videos. But it takes about a one hour tour and yeah, I still recommend it. It's very, very interesting. So I actually don't know that much about the Empress Sisi, but she was very, very popular. And I think she got married at the age of 16. She was considered beautiful at the time. And yeah, she was also known to be quite compassionate towards the poor, from what I heard. But yeah, she's very revered here. When we were going through all the souvenir rooms, there was like st little statues you can buy. Everything's like Sissy, Sissy, Sissy. Her name was Elizabeth, but Sissy. So yeah, it's a little bit of history about her. We're just happy that it stopped raining. And the gardens are just so pretty. There are a lot of people exercising, but we're just walking to the Palm House, Palm House garden now. But these gardens are huge. I just don't think you could possibly get through it. Oh, you could if you really wanted to, <laughs> but it would take the whole day. It is absolutely enormous. Look how beautiful this Palm House is. And the garden, so pretty, look. Okay, so here is um, a view of the castle behind me. It looks small, but it's massive. And then this is Neptune Fountain. All right, we're going for a super early dinner and it's called Persna. And they have the original Wiener Schnitzel. Yes, which they've had the same recipe apparently for 100 years. So let's go try it. I love how they sit you in barrels and this restaurant is just so cool. You can see all the artwork on the walls and it just looks like a step back in time. Oh, that's someone I know. You're ready to eat? And look at these chairs. Look at these guys drinking beer on the chairs. Very smooth. Okay, so we got the veal schnitzel, which is a must try. And this is a traditional Viennese dish. It's, I don't know the exact names, but it's like boiled beef. And you're supposed to dip the meat in these sauces and then the potatoes put it into the soup. Hugs, oh, so you want to try some of the veal? Yes, please. Go on. Tell me your thoughts. I want some of the veal too. It's a big, big veal. It's a big veal. Mm -hmm. Good. Let me try. Mm. It's moist. Very crispy. Mmm, yum. yummy. And conveniently, the restaurant we just came from was like just a couple of minutes from Mozart's apartment. And uh, this is where he composed a lot of his work and he stayed here. It's yes. pretty cool. Yes, yeah, pretty cool. So you can go in as well. And then this is St. Stephen's Cathedral, smack bang in the city. Very beautiful. I don't know if this is the front or the back, but we just walked from Mozart's apartments. So here it is. And here is the inside of St. Stephen's Cathedral. <laughs> They're actually currently having a mass at the moment, so you can't actually go in. And the final stop for tonight is another beautiful church and it's St. Peter's Church. Let's go in and have a look. Seriously, the insides of these churches are pieces of art. 
Look at the ceiling, it's all painted as well. Okay, so we just stopped by for some dessert. This is the honing tort, which is like layers of honey and honestly, I don't know, cream and sponge maybe. All right, hubs, go on. Yeah, lots of layers. Nice. Buttery. Well, today's been a full-on day, but we've really enjoyed it. Lots of walking, but luckily I'm wearing my very comfortable shoes. As you can see, look at my hair. It's so messy. It's so windy. But at least it is not raining. So you can hear the church bells ringing. That's St. Peter's Church. It's funny because at 8 p.m. at night, look, now we have blue skies. If only it was like this during the day. So this is the column of pest and it's to commemorate the victims of the plague. Hi guys, we are heading to check out some outlets because in Australia we don't have so many designer factory outlets so thought we'll take the opportunity to check the one out in Vienna. Hi guys, so we have arrived to the outlet, so cool, we have nothing like this. So today was very like ad hoc, we were originally going to go uh, to the market but because it's been raining. Um, the hotel recommended us to check out these outlets and I'm so glad I didn't even know they had outlets in Vienna so I think first up we'll go to Gucci and then I saw a Prada and then I think I don't even know but we'll go explore together and yeah it's been ages since I've gone to outlets so let's see what type of stock they have Okay, let's take a little tour around the store. It was a huge Gucci outlet store. Like, as I said before, we don't have any Gucci outlets in Australia. Lots of bags and it was so packed. As you can see, there was a really huge women's section. This is the women's section here. Lots of women's shoes. I'll show you the men's a bit later on. One, one, eight, five. So this was a previous season colour in the Marmont, so they did sell this. So this was 2,600 euros and outlet is 1560. So here I am trying the Dionysus walk-in denim. This was a boutique style that was sent to the outlet. I thought that was cute. I was trying to find out which were boutique only bags and which were bags only made in the outlet. And a lot of these on this spinny shelf were outlet only bags. Definitely this camel walk, which I've got pictured here. So this Gucci camera bag is extra discounted. See, 1670, outlet is 640, and inside the line does feel a bit cheaper. And then this is the label inside. So I don't know what that means, honestly. So there's, yeah, do you want to try it? Is it men's or women's? I think it's unisex. No. Gucci, ha ha ha, 445 euro. Half price. Yeah. Let me see the front of the shoe. I feel like I've seen that in the boutique too. Do you want to try that on? I've definitely seen these in the boutique. Two 
75. The lights look great, but the, the shoes are bad. <laughs> So this is the Soho. They still do the Soho. This is full price at 1390. Looks like the same lining. This only has R and Gucci made in Italy. Let's compare it to this one, which looks like exactly the same quality, same material. And this one says G and R. What does that mean, guys? I have no idea. I thought G initially means like the outlet, but not necessarily because this is apparently from the boutique too, because it's full price. Oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like this. Look at these fluffy platforms. I own these, so I definitely know that they were in the boutique, and now they're only 125. Oh, that's a good price. I, I like these ones, but not really so much in red. But these ones are really good. But they run big. So I ended up meeting a really nice SA who had been there 10 years, and she told me all the ready to wear is from the boutique. It's just older season stock. Here are some of the men's collection for all my male viewers. Lots of ready to wear, but the styles were kind of out there. But a huge selection of shoes, mainly casual shoes, sneakers, but they did also have some classic styles. And moving along to the men's sort of bag section, again, there was a mixture of boutique styles that are just a couple of seasons old, but there was also outlet created bags and she could identify them because she has been there for so long but some of the other essays weren't so forthright with this information so this range here with all the gg logos the sort of luggage range that was outlet only stock but honestly the essays are going to tell you the quality is really similar so i reckon when you go to the outlet boutique just buy what you love i mean the prices are quite a lot cheaper there are items that are still full price Overall, Hubby and I had a lot of fun shopping in Gucci. I think the savings were pretty good and they had a good variety of stock too. And as you can see, I definitely did pick up a few things. Hugo, Longchamp, we might go in and check this out. Look at these little baby coin purses. So this is... 30 euros. I'm thinking 40 euros is the normal price, so it's only 10 euros cheaper. And then they've got styles like this, which I'm honestly not that familiar with Longchamp leather styles. And it kind of says $7.99 and now it's $5.15. So I'm guessing these are just like older models, older stock. One of my first bags was this long champ pouillage like this in the slightly bigger size. This is 110, so I'm thinking this is just normal price. The black and the dark blues, but just the wall is slightly cheaper. The pink is quite cute. Maybe in the normal size? I think this is just medium size. It's okay. Look at these tinsy baby ones. Oh, yeah. Very useless, but so cute. How much are they? 145 from 220. Very, very cute. 